Hi everyone, how are you doing? In this video, I would like to talk about the NSTP law. But before watching this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. So let's start. The Philippine Constitution provides that the defense of the state is a prime duty of the government and it's not just the government but also the people so in fulfillment of this duty all citizens may be required by law to render personal military or civil service so the constitution further states that it is the duty of the citizen to contribute to our country's development in the attainment and preservation of a just and orderly society for this reason, the National Service Training Program, NSTP Act of 2001, mandates all citizens, both male and female, to fulfill this civic duty. As an, an anonymous one said that a good citizen takes responsibility for helping home, school, and community to be a good place for everyone. So, I will just, this point, I will show you what this law is all about, Republic Act 9163. So, this is what I am going to talk about. And you find here what's the agenda. You will uh, uh, know the origin of the law, the meaning of NSTP, the components of NSTP, objective of NSTP, the target learner of NSTP, and the, uh, the the supervisor of this said program so I will begin with the origin of this law the imposition of the national program for service and training of the youth in the Philippines began with the creation of Commonwealth Act number no. one otherwise known as the National Defense Act of 1935 under the government of President Manuel L. Quezon. The law requires college students, particularly males, to finish two years equivalent to four semesters of military as modality to institu in institutionalize the reserve system in the Philippines national defense. In 1980, the National Defense Act was amended to give existence to Presidential Decree Number 1706, otherwise known as the National Service Law. It mandated compulsory national service to all Filipino citizens, which composed of three main components, mainly Civic Welfare Service, or CWS, Law Enforcement Service, LES and military service. College students were given an option to choose from one from among these components in compliance with this requirement for tertiary education. However, the uh, implementation of the said law was suspended except the provision of the military service by Presidential Memorandum Order No. 1 under former President Corazon Aquino. So this paved the way for the creation of Basic Reserve Officers Training Corps or ROTC embodies under Republic Act 7077 effective school year 1986 to 1987. The objective of the said program was to train all able-bodied tertiary students for military skills, military training in case of war. As a way to offer alternative in neutralizing people's aversion to this military program during the school year 2001-2002, ROTC was only made optional under the National Service Program or NSP, conceiving the so-called expanded ROTC or EROTC. This EROTC was a deviation from the rigid tactical training offering alternatives like 
rendering civil auxiliary sources in the form of helping maintain law and order, assisting socio-economic development projects and de delivery of basic health services or aiding in addressing local insurgency. In view of the options, it gave the students the choice among the following components. Number one, military service. Number two, civic welfare service. Number three, law enforcement service. Many, if not all, of the higher education institutions found the enforcement of the national or the NSP confusing and unmanageable though. Thus, in two December of 2001, the NSTP Act envisioned to address public claim or for reform in the ROTC and uh, National Service Program or NSP, which was signed into law by President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo as an aggressive modality toward making the former national service training that is military in nature relevant to the changing needs of the time. Now, let us proceed to the meaning of NSTP. The NSTP, or the National Service Training Program, as embodied in Republic Act 9163, is a program aimed at enhancing civic consciousness and defense preparedness in the youth by developing the ethics of service and patriotism while undergoing training in any of its three components, program components, specifically designed to enhance the youth's active contribution to the general welfare. So that is really the the purpose why we have the national service training program the the development of having a a mindset wherein you care for the welfare of the society now let us proceed to the components of nstp as i have enumerated a while ago Number one is number one component is civic welfare training service. This refers to activities contributory to the general welfare and betterment of life for the members of the community. It also refers to the enhancement of its facilities, especially those developed to improving health, education, environment, entrepreneurship, safety, recreation and the morale of the citizenry and other social services so majority of you is going to undergo this one while some of the students particularly those taking the the criminology course they are going to take the the other components which is what we call ROTC this is uh, the other component designed to provide military training to tertiary level students in order to motivate, train, and organize uh, and mobilize them for national defense. So the third component is Literacy Training Service or LTS. This is designed to train the students to teach literacy and numeracy skills to school children or out of school youth and other segments in the society in need of their services so this is fitting most especially to those students who are taking education courses okay so let us continue at this point i'm going to explain further what is really the purpose or the goal of NSTP? So the NSTP has been implemented starting the school year 
since the effectivity effectivity of the said program is March 23, 2002. So schools that do not meet the required number of students in order to conduct a program component or do not offer the component chosen by the student shall allow them to cross enroll to other schools irrespective of whether that school is under CHED or TESDA. And for ROTC, whether they are managed by different AFP branches of service subject to the existing rules and regulations of their original school and the accepting school. So if the school that you are in do not offer any of this program then you are allowed to cross enroll to other schools so each of the nstp components shall be undertaken for an academic period of two semesters and credited for three units per semester with 54 to 90 training hours per semester and students will just be paying only one and a half uh, units all higher and technical vocational educational institutions shall be offering at least one of the nstp components while state universities and colleges will offer the rotc component and at least one other nstp component uh, graduates of the non-ROTC components shall belong to the National Service Reserve Corps or NSRC that could be tapped by the state for literacy and civic welfare activities. Graduates of the ROTC also com uh, components shall form only part of the AAP Citizen Armed Force subject to the Department of National Defense. Okay, so now let us proceed to the objective of NSTP. What is really the objective of NSTP? The primary objective of NSTP is to highlight the role of the youth in building a strong republic, invoking gender equality and development through the inclusion of female students in national service training. So, as such, it it aims to develop the youth to become civic or military leaders and volunteers through a modified, restructured, and reinforced training package who could be called upon by the nation in cases their services are needed and in the event of disasters or emergency. So if there are calamities that uh, happen then uh, those who graduated this course can be tapped by the government. So who are the target learners of this law? The target learners of this law are all incoming freshman students, male and female enrolled in any baccalaureate or at least two-year technical, vocational, or associate courses. You are all required to complete one NSTP component of your choice as a graduation requirement. You cannot graduate if you do not take at least one of these components. Now, who supervise this program? The one who supervise this program are the school authorities. They shall exercise academic and administrative supervision over the design, the formulation, the adoption and implementation of the different NSTP components in the respective schools. In the case of ROTC, the school authorities and the Department of National Defense shall exercise a joint supervision over its implementation. Now, the lead agencies who will monitor the implementations are the CHED regional agencies, the TESDA provincial and district offices, and the DND AFP through the major services reserve commands and their ROTC units. So, that's it. In conclusion, this law is 
premise on the youth's pivotal role as a potent force in bringing forth much about goals of development in the country. In other words, this NSTP law is a form of citizenship training that affords its student trainee <coughs> the opportunity to demonstrate practical and functional knowledge as well as life skills, especially problem solving in our daily life. That would be all. I, I hope that this video helped you understand what this NSTP all about its rationality. Thank you for watching.